it on something you can't explain. Have you rolled across the floor? Have they had to pack you home? Let me tell you about a new wine I've been drinking on. Have you ever been so drunk that you didn't know your name? So intoxicated on something you can't explain. Have you rolled across the floor? tonight hallelujah i'm sorry we become more modern in our pentecostal day haven't we we don't know what being drunk that you don't even know your name is we know how to turn it on and turn it off but i come up when i got this baptism of the holy ghost you can't turn it on and turn it off i've been in so many youth conferences where they'll be all crying and the preacher get up and get a song get them all on their feet get them going about 15 minutes and shut it down because he's ready to go to the house but I wouldn't give you 10 cents for something you can shut off and shut down and shut on hallelujah come on somebody I want something real come on I've been to so many conferences where they dance just like they used to dance Said so they're just in the house of God. They said, I, I'm still dancing. I just changed partners. Well, I want you to know I didn't just change partners. I changed dances. I don't dance like I did in the world. I didn't dance then, but I sure don't dance like I did then. Come on, they'll get that music going and say, everybody dance and everybody be doing a jig. But I'm thankful for a real Holy Ghost and a real move of God that'll get a hold of you Come on, where I came from, what I came out of, when you get knocked out in the floor, you got up a changed boy. You didn't get up the same boy you went down as. Come on, Come on you didn't shout tonight and almost backslide tomorrow. If you shouted tonight under the influence of the Holy Ghost, you still had it when you woke up the next morning. Oh, somebody give him praise. Somebody say, she ain't going through nothing. So I said, oh, that's why she's so happy. They ain't fighting nothing. They ain't going through anything. Well, you want to know they had their wheel bearings go out, thirsty. So they didn't think they were going to get to come. And they had to get them fixed before they could even leave and get here. And then a while ago, trying to get ready for church, all three youngins got sick and threw up on their clothes. And that's why they were 15 minutes late. So they fought through hell just to walk through the door. You didn't know that, did you? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's real. It's real. I know it's real. It's that Pentecostal blessing. And I know that I know that I know that I know that it's real. Oh, you said, Pastor, it's just emotionalism. I feel sorry for you. Come here. That preacher talked about ball games today. You ever seen a ball game? 90,000 fans screaming and hollering. Slapping hands, slinging peanut juice everywhere. Coke because their football player just scored a touchdown. You don't care what the marital status is of the guy beside you. 
You don't care how much money is. You don't care nothing about it. You don't know why? You're there to worship football. Come on, somebody. I'm not. Come, don't, 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 don't go there with me. I'm not trying to be carnal. Yeah. But what I'm trying to tell you is this right here. You know what? You know why 90,000 fans can do that? Because there's something in the human nature that was created to worship. And so we're doing what we were created to do at that moment. But we're supposed to come to the house of God, sit down on a seat, fold our hands, and not even open our mouth. I come to make much of Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about Auburn Tigers. I'm not talking about Roll Tide. I'm not talking about the Georgia Bulldogs. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the power of God. Somebody said that was just emotionalism. Well, who did we pray for a while ago? His name's Corey. Huh? They were fixing to ship him to University of Alabama, Birmingham. And we prayed a while ago. And they done text back and said, the doctor said he's 100% better. And they're sending him home instead of UAB. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody give God some praise in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read on Facebook last night where there's some, uh, there's a guy that I know that's in revival and he put on his Facebook, he said, last night in the middle of service, a man who's not saw in four years, who has not saw the light of day in four years without nobody laying a hand on him, without nobody touching him, without nobody praying for him, he went to screaming, I can see. My eyes are open, I can see. It's real, it's real. I know it's real. Oh. A man from the church went home, started telling his mama about the healing. Said, Mama, you won't believe it, but a blind man saw tonight. She's in a wheelchair and she screamed on the phone. If he can heal a blind man, he can heal me. Jumped out of the wheelchair and danced across the floor. Healed by the power of God. <laughs> Somebody lift your hands and praise God. I believe in miracles. I'll return to the house of God. I believe in the miracle power of 